Hey guys, um, I had a request to do an oiling and a field strip of my Luger here. This is my World War II Bring Back. Um, it's stamped 1937 and 1942. And um, well, uh, first things first, There's nothing, no magazine in here, and the chamber's empty. The gun is clear. So um, first off, what's cool about this gun? Well, main thing, a lot of things are cool. Um, the serial number is stamped on the barrel and it's also stamped on the frame right here. Now the last two digits of that serial number is stamped on every part of this gun which means numbers matching means more valuable so this is numbers matching and the numbers I'm talking about are right here. There's one on the side plate, there's one on the takedown lever, and there's one right here and there's one that's just some examples of the numbers that I'm talking about it's um, pretty cool so let's start um, first you guys take the side plate off just push forward on the barrel and then swing this down release side plate comes off put that aside and the barrel just slides right off. So you have the barrel assembly here and you got the frame assembly here. Just put that aside. Okay. First, um, removing the toggle assembly from the barrel assembly. Lift up a little bit. And this little axle right here, this axle pin, just comes out. Like that. There's the axle pin. Then you just remove the toggle assembly from the barrel. Like that. And here's the barrel. This is that little tuning fork you maybe heard about in the Lugers. So that's pretty cool. And it's, um, sorry, this is the, the toggle mechanism which holds the plunger, the spring, and the firing pin. And it's held in with this little guy right here. It's under tension, so be careful when you remove it. Just get your screwdriver, push in, and a quarter turn, and then release. Just like that. Oh, there it goes. There's your plunger right here. Firing pin spring. And the firing pin in itself. And that's stamped also with the last two digits of the, of the serial number. And I do a visual inspection inside here where they all line up inside there. Let's see. Um, there's nothing in there right now. I cleaned it pretty good. So what I do is I get some oil, a little drop of oil on the firing pin. And the firing pin has a has a, a little notch on there. You see that? That goes in this little groove right here. So it only goes in one way, like that. Then the firing pin spring, and then the plunger. This also has a, a notch on it too. You see that little notch on there? That goes in that same slot. The screwdriver. And quarter turn. There. And it's locked in place. And this is how the mechanism works. So look at these little pivot cam there. And there's the firing pin there and the extractor. Now let's oil this up. Basically every pin, every metal and metal item I see, I give it a drop of oil. And there. And one back. 
think here. Okay. Now, this also has um, a, a round indicator. See right there? This basically goes up when there's a round in the chamber. So you can actually feel it when it's dark. There's a round in there, so you'll know. And that has. Let me go this side. There's actually some writing on there. That's pretty cool. So I drop a well on that little pivot pin there. And on the slide rails here. Okay. And now on the barrel assembly, you have rails on the inside for this piece and rails on the outside for the frame itself. Let's oil those up. I'm going kind of quick here because I don't want to bore you guys to death. Okay, I'll put this back together. I put this pin back, which you can see has a little flange on one end. So it only goes in one way. There you go. It's kind of hard to do with my hands are oily. It was still slipping around. But that's all put back together again. Now let's work on the, the lower half of the, the frame itself. For this, I'm going to remove the grips. There's some screws on the bottom of the grips here. Make sure your screwdriver fits those slots good because you don't want to you know, trash those screws up. That'd be a shame. Okay, now you do not use a screwdriver to pop open the screws from the side. What I do is I go from inside the magwell and just pop it open that way. You don't mar the edges. And these are, these grips here are wood. And that's even stamped with the last number, so the serial number. That's pretty cool. So, I'm going to do here is just basically um, going to oil up the main pins here and here. The mag release, the trigger pin, the takedown lever pin, and here is a safety. This is a safety mechanism here. You can see it. It comes down here and up here. Like that. So I'm gonna do this and put drop a pin on the back side, right in here, where those two meet. And drop will do it. And inside here, where the safety comes up. There we go. And there's a pin on here. Right there's a pin. That guy is the recoil spring um, pivot. There's some forks inside there. Those two forks, those get rocked back that way on that pin and lift the spring up. That absorbs the recoil. Okay, that's about it on that. 
now to reassemble it. Now these grips have a little edge on the, on the top here. I don't know if you can really see that. There's like a, a beveled edge. You got to put them in at an angle and then you close them in like that. And do not over tighten these screws. You'll jack things up by doing that. Okay, now I'll put a little oil on the, on the rail here. Okay, now I'll reassemble it now. And these little forks I was talking about earlier, you see them right there, those two forks. This little guy grabs those forks on the back of the recoil when the, when the slide goes back. So what we gotta do, Usually, I do it upside down, make it easier. And you can see, kinda, lift it up over and drop it in right there. And you can see it grabs those the recoil. And you put the slide plate back on. Hold it with your thumb, push back on the barrel, put the takedown lever back up again. There you go. Let's do a function check here. Lift this one more. Safety on, no go, safety off, fire. Okay, that's it. I hope we didn't bore you too much with this, but it's out there so you guys can watch it and watch it and watch it. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot. Oh, one more thing. Um, the oil I wiped down with this, um, this this cloth here is a, it's a silicone infused cloth. It's kind of old model. It's like back in the 90s. Um, I can really use a new one. If uh, Latham from Rusty Rags is watching, hook me up. I'm just kidding. Not really though, I'm kidding. So um, just thanks for watching and um, post comments. And if I say anything wrong or name the part that's wrong, I'm sorry. I'm not a Luger expert. I'm just taking care of what I have. And um, hope you guys enjoy this. Thanks for watching.